Well, thank you so much for tuning into how to change your life in terms of losing weight and keeping it off. Now, any one of the 10 tips that I'm going to share in isolation isn't going to do it. But if you put all 10 tips together, you will lose weight and you'll keep it off for good. So the first tip is to start the day with intent and gratitude. So what do I mean by that? Intent to do the best that you can for your body and gratitude for the day that is about to begin. That's tip number one. Tip number two is to stay hydrated. Now, this one is one that we so often forget about. Because how do you drink enough water, okay? How do you measure it out or remember to do it? So my suggestion and what really helps me is to measure out how much water I need to consume for a day. So have your containers ready and at the end of the day, check yourself and you'll know if you've done the best for your body. And you want about 62 to 64 ounces every single day. Let's move on to tip number three. So tip number three is really an important one. It's about getting the kind of movement that we need in our lives. And so often we hear walking is what we should be doing. That is really not enough. And as we age, we need to advance the difficulty of the routine of workout that we do. So my top tip for movement and exercise is strength training. We know that we lose muscle mass over the years in order to burn more calories and to stay at our fittest level, we need to strength train. So just not cardio, which is wonderful, but strength training is a key to losing weight and keeping it off. Tip number four, eliminate all sodas because they do nothing for your body and they are so addictive. Okay, so we go for the, you know, zero calorie, um, sugar free. It's all the same. Sodas are not going to do anything to promote health. They are addictive and all they're going to do is help you retain and gain weight. So eliminate sodas from your diet. Next tip is really, really important, and it's about never going hungry. And I tell clients, hunger wins, and it will. Because when we're really starving, we're going to eat whatever is available. And if that's a cookie or a chip or a couple of bags of chips, whatever, whatever is available, if we're hungry, we're going to eat it. Hunger always wins. So to prevail, what you have to do is not get to that level of hunger. So have some healthy snacks together, ready to go, so that you'll never tip over into that starvation level where you're grabbing anything that's available. Tip number six, and this is a really important one, meal prep. If you're prepared, then you're not going to grab for something that's unhealthy. So Meal prep is really big in terms of the fitness community. We all meal prep. That means that we're ready to go with a quick breakfast, a quick lunch, a quick dinner. We know what we're going to have for the whole week. So shop once a week. You save money and time by prepping once a week. And now you're not going to select something that isn't good for your body. I like to recommend three kinds of breakfasts three kinds of lunches and three kinds of dinners and have those all ready and prepared. So I share tips and hints on how to get that preparation going quickly. So I make all of my menu options very, very, very simple. So if you want simple options, quick and easy, healthy, then you can check them out on my Facebook page, Dr. Maria Christina. Let's move on to tip number seven. It's about eliminating sugar from our diets. Okay, so sugar is said to be as addictive as cocaine or heroin. Okay, so when we get a little bit, we want to keep going. Who can't eat just one piece of C's candy out of a C's candy box? Now, once you start, you're on that slippery slope. So the tip is to try to do as much as you can to stay away from 
sugar in all of its many forms. So now the food manufacturers have gotten pretty sh sharp about this and they're now saying this is sugar free. Okay, you have to read the label because what's there is also not good for your body. It's an artificial substitute for sugar and is just as harmful. So read the labels, stay with sugar that you find in natural, real food. Okay, so that's tip number seven. Stay away from sugar as much as possible. Tip number eight, process and package foods, just as addictive as sugar. And this is one that's a little difficult because we are into a fast paced life in our country. We will go for the processed foods and the fried foods. And that's something that has to be eliminated. So if it's in a package and it's got preservatives and it's got additives, it is going to cause you to hold on to weight and gain weight. So that is what you have to eliminate. Next thing to skip is products that are flour based. And most of our bread today contains additives that should not be in our bodies, that contain um, the kinds of artificial additives that cause inflammation, that are gonna cause disease. So the bread that's available in our country today, on our shelves today, that we can buy today, some of them have uh, ingredients that are banned in other countries. So eliminate flour-based products from your diet. That's a hard one, but it's really, really important. The last tip is to eat real food. Okay, so much of our food today, so much of our intake today is food that really wasn't meant to be consumed. It has additives and preservatives and all kinds of artificial ingredients that do not belong in our body. So eat real food in the correct portions, follow the other tips, you will lose weight and you will keep it off forever. Thanks for watching.